Hello everybody! Sunday night Facebook Live coming to you at 7 p.m. How's the weather where you're from? It is hot, hot, hot here. Oh my gosh. I was melting. I'm melting a few minutes ago. Don't get me wrong, I love the heat. Hi Debbie, welcome. Karen, glad to see you could tune in. Hi Lynn, Charlene. So, what's your weather like today? This is Wisconsin and I'm not really sure the real temperature, but out by our pool it was in the 90s. I went for my bike ride this morning and I saw one deer laying in the woods. That's things that you would never see if you weren't like really looking around. And uh, what else? Oh, I saw a guy laying on the bike path. There were people with him. I don't know what happened to him, if he had some type of a medical thing while he was riding his bike or if he got hit by a car, but that was kind of scary. And uh, the other day I got poured on all the way home from my bike ride, it just downpoured. And thank goodness it was warm out because I didn't get cold. But today I got home and I was just dripping wet. That's usually the way it is when I get back from my bike ride. Hi everybody, hi Kelly, hi Alyssa, hi Karen. So yeah, it is hot. Lisa, how are you? Brenda, glad you could tune in. So um, yeah, I had to actually, before I went live on here, I had to go in the bathroom and grab the towel and blot my face because it was wet with sweat. It was so gross. I have a fan going over here and I have a ceiling fan on, so that keeps me a little cooler. Looking for 99 tomorrow. Charlene, where are you from? Hi, Marsha. Jody in Indiana, it's hot and muggy. Yeah, it is here too. The kids stopped over a little bit, the grandkids, to go swimming this afternoon after they got home from their camper. So that was nice. I got to float around a little bit today. I took a little bit of a break. Hi, Megan. Suzette, welcome. 102 in Arkansas today. Wow, Debbie. Yeah, that's warm. I have nothing to whine about. And remember, I really like this heat, so I'm not whining. Um, thanks for the share, Heather. Heather just shared my video. Don't forget to share if you can, please. That really helps me out. And Sherry can't stay long. Hi, Sherry. Lori, glad you could tune in. Hi, Jessica. Thank you so much. I feel like I'm sun-kissed, as somebody said on one of the other Facebook Lives. I've been spending some time, um, I usually try to get out in the pool at least once a day. I shouldn't say at least. At, the, at a minimum once, no, that's not what I wanna say. I try to get out to the pool once a day. How about that? Sometimes it always, doesn't always work. I had a super busy weekend. We had a card buffet in Nina yesterday morning. We had 20 people, that was awesome. We had a lot of fun doing that. Then I came home and took a nap. Because I was up, I think, till 2.30 the night before getting ready. Um, yeah, so something just popped in on my phone I was looking at. So, um, what's happening this last week? I just released my newest online class with the Varied Vases um, bundle. And um, that's been going well. Online classes can be a lot of work, so I was excited that there was a lot of interest shown in it. You can find it on my blog, www.estampabub.com. And it's at the bottom of every single post. There's an online classes button that you can click on, but it's super, super fun. Some super cute cards and some great ideas. Um, that's available for free if you purchase a bundle of products from me that are listed on that post. Um, or you can get it for $20, whatever works for you. Uh, let's see. Anybody wants to come to on stage in uh, November we are going to be in Orlando Florida I already have rooms booked thanks to I just saw Kathy Miller pop in here thanks to Kathy Miller's daughter we have some amazing rates at a hotel so if anybody's interested in coming to Orlando in November for Stampin Ups on stage registration starts in August so that's not too far off now how can you go hey 
All you need to do is buy the discount shopper kit now in the month of July. You get 10 free ink pads when you purchase it now. So if you have an order of $100 that you'd like to put in, this is a no-brainer. You get $230 worth of product for $99. And you get to choose which color family of ink pads you want, and you get to choose all the products in the discount shopper kit. Plus you enjoy a 20% discount from now until the end of December at a minimum. And I um, had several people take advantage of that on Saturday at the card buffet. And I had one gal that said she felt a little guilty, like she was just buying the kit because of the good deal. And she thought that that wasn't really fair. No, it's fair. Stampin' Up! has put it out there for people to buy that kit. And I have people who buy the kit every time there's a promotion. You will um, go inactive if you don't place any orders, and then you can buy the kit again. It's not cheating. It's okay. So it's actually encouraged. Hi, Tara. Hi, Rose. Welcome. So um, discount shopper kit. It's the best deal. $99, no shipping charges, and you get $230 worth of product. It's amazing. Hi, Colleen, Jody, Sandy. So, um, what else? We have a big promotion going on right now, and that's one of the cool things about being a discount shopper or a business builder with Stampin' Up! is we get to order things early so that we can start getting cards ready to show you, right? One of the promotions going on right now is the Color Your Season promotion. And oh my gosh, this double stamp set, and I know this is backwards and I could have done mirroring on my phone, but that really freaked me out because every time I did this, I was going the wrong way and it was just weird. So you guys are gonna have to look at things backwards. I'll show these to you again once I flip my phone around. But um, this is the promotion. You get all of these framelits, this stamp set, which is so big it needs two cases, and some exclusive watercolor pencils. These watercolor pencils are new colors, okay? So we've got Calypso Coral, Gorgeous Grape, Balmy Blue, Night of Navy. There are how many pencils in here? Um, I don't know if it says on the box, so I'm going to have to count them. Hang tight. I got pencils making a mess here. Two, four, six, eight, ten new colors of pencils. So, if you buy the discount shopper kit, one of the things that you can get in it is this new bundle of product. And I'll tell you what, when Stampin' Up orders a, um, or when Stampin' Up puts out a new promotion, like this whole set of products, these are only going to be available for the month of August. I'm not sure about the watercolor pencils, but I know this is only available starting August 1st. You can get this as part of your discount shopper kit for your $125 of product. You can choose these things and get them early. When Stampin' Up! puts out a promotion like this, you're going to see a million gazillion ideas using these because demonstrators are trying to show everybody the beauty and versatility in the particular promotion. So you get a ton of ideas. Um, way more ideas than things that are just generally released in our big catalog. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, Jody, the double stitched dies are amazing. This is just such a beautiful sweep. So that's our promotion coming up for August that you can get right now with 10 free ink pads. Hello. So that's a good deal. Um, let's see. Da -da -da, da -da -da. What else is happening? I was working hard all week with the release of that online class. Oh, the pens, no, the pencils aren't part of the bundle that you can order with one number, Kathy, but they are part of the promotion, so you can get them with the promotion. Um, and you'll be able to order them as a customer in August, um, but as if you wanna order the starter kit and get 10 free ink pads, you can get them now. So that's super cool. Thank you for clarifying that. Um, let's see. Working hard. Yes, I've been working hard all week. I'm like, where does my week go? It's insane. I wanted to get to Ikea to get my new furniture -y things so that I can get this office set up. Um, and I, it, it just didn't happen. Um, getting the online class going was very time consuming because there's nine different videos I had to make. Hi, Steve Atchison. <laughs> my husband is watching you guys. Be nice. 
see that just then be nice use that filter um and uh and i'm trying to get ready to go to alaska on friday i'm taking my mom and her best friend rosie and this is going to be such an adventure for them i can't hardly wait um let's get i'm going to do the winners from last week and you know what i was going to draw names to give um cards away but I didn't have enough time to do that before I went live tonight because I kind of forgot. So I will do that after the live is over. <laughs> Steve, furniture things, what? I will do that after my Facebook live is over and I'll post it on my page so you guys can see who won. Then you're need, gonna need to get me your addresses if I don't have them. So our first winner for commenting, remember there's three ways you can win fun products from me. Leave a comment. If you're just coming on here and you're just getting on to watch me, you need to um, comment. Say where you're from. Say hi, Kelly, whatever. So that when I can go through and I can put everybody's names in a bowl and pick one, you're in there. The other way that you can win fun products from me is to share my video. And you can do that right now. Arliss, you're very welcome for the doilies. I'm so glad that you um you won those because you said you were going to order them so that's really cool the third way that you can win is by placing an online order with me and you can do that on my blog www.astampabub.com there's an ordering button in the right hand column hi nancy hi living room steve atchison <laughs> hi carolina janine glad you could make it so Bay Marion is our winner and she's going to get some of these glitter enamel dots. So I don't remember if Faye's watching tonight or not. So if you're watching Faye, let me know. I will be dropping these in the mail tomorrow. Steve, get your credit card out. No, 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 no. I just bought a ton of stuff for our camper summer home. Um, we needed an anti sway bar and oh my gosh, we found one on Amazon for almost half the price as from the manufacturer so that was kind of a cool deal our second winner is kelly perfect kelly is going to win this package of petal garden designer series paper one of our six by six stacks so this is really fun paper and she won for sharing the video did i say that already thanks brenda for sharing and then my last winner is getting this a big thank you stamp set. This is one of my favorites from the new catalog. I didn't realize that it would be, but I've been using it a lot. And um, this is going to Bonnie Heindel. Bonnie put in an online order, so all my people that put in online orders get um, entered to win the stamp set, which is the grand prize. So I'll be getting those out in the mail tomorrow and I do have all the addresses here for these. Hi Kelly, welcome. I know Char, I love this six by six too. Yay, Kelly Perfect is watching. Woohoo, you won. Thanks Heather, that's so nice of you. Kathy, to say congratulations. I'm always a gracious loser too. Hi Elizabeth, how are you doing? Thank you for the share. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside and then I just wanted to go through, did you guys see what I posted this week on my blog? I got this card, this is really fun. This was part of a, um, a pair of cards that I did using a wax resist and my embossing folders. So crayons and embossing folders, it was really fun. I can't show you the other card, you can check it out on my blog because I already sent it out. I'm gonna have to wait on stuff like that. Then, this is a super cute card that I did for my, I think it was my Friday video. This is using the Wood Textures paper, designer series paper, and this is on the promotion. Buy three, get one free in the month of July. And also the Varied Vases, which is um, the newest online class that I just put out. Hi, Heather from Alaska. I'm going to be there on Friday. I'm so excited. And then I made this cute little baby card for one of my blog hop challenges. This uses the Animal Expedition designer series paper also on the um, buy three get one free promotion. And then I was challenged to do Christmas in July and I think this is my all time favorite one. Look at how pretty that is. I used the designer series paper as a layer inside and for the front. And this is the under the mistletoe. All of this is under the mistletoe paper, 
which is also part of the promotion going on. Let me see if I can get this card open. Hang on. They're all the same card and I whipped these up and oh my gosh, it didn't take me long at all, but I used the designer series paper on the front and the inside because well, it's buy three, get one free, right? Woo! <laughs> Love that. Okay, so that's all my creations this week. And oh, this went with that little baby card. Isn't that cute? Animal Expedition. And again, the Animal Expedition DSP. Thanks, Patricia. That's so nice of you. And Brenda, yeah, that crayon technique was pretty cool, wasn't it? Okay. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to flip my camera around. And hang on a second. Thanks, Kathy. That's so sweet. I'm going to, oops, I just did something to my laptop. I need to get you guys live on here. So hang on just a second where you look at my head really close for a minute. <laughs> I went and got my hair cut. You can't tell because I just took a shower and didn't do anything to it. But I went and got my hair cut Friday. So I've got, I'm ready for Alaska. And, oh, I got my nails done. Do you see the sparkle in them? I thought this was a fun summer color. I like doing the tips only because that way when they grow out, you can't see how icky they are for a while. <laughs> I know, tricky, right? And then I think this week I have to go get my toes done. So I'm going to be all ready for Alaska. All right. Um, I'm going to flip my camera around and then I'll plug in my phone. And then I'll show you guys all the cards that I got because I showed you all my birthday cards last week, but I got a bunch more. So it was a pretty exciting, pretty exciting birthday. So hang tight. Now remember, if I lose you, off the wall question, what colors? Oh, I missed that, Kelly. What did you just say? Uh, what colors did you use to color the giraffe? Oh, let me grab that back here. Okay, so I used crushed curry and then Cajun Craze for the polka dots. Um, those are my favorite colors for the giraffe. So great question, because sometimes that can be tricky, right? If I lose you on the flip, I'll lose you, I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> no, if I lose you on the flip, please click on the title of my page, a stamp above your creative coach, scroll down to the second video. The first video is gonna be from last week. The one we're on right now is going to be the second one and get back on because last week, remember, I disconnected you and then when I came back on, um, I had you flipped wrong and oh my Lord, there were so many problems. Hi, Annette. Welcome. Okay. So hang on. Let's get you flipped around. There we go. Okay. Woo. Seamless so far. Now hang tight. This is where the problems happen. <laughs> because I have to touch things. And that's what happened last week is I accidentally touched the button and disconnected you. Whoops. Yeah, if you get motion sickness, you may wanna just hang on for a few seconds till I get everything ready. All right, I wanna make sure that my, can you guys see, is everything bright enough here? Uh, why am I sideways? Huh. Okay, so that's really weird because you're not sideways on my screen. But you are on my computer. You guys, am I, am I, yeah, I'm sideways. What is going on? Hang on. Let's see if this will, you're not sideways on my screen. I'm going to flip you around again. Okay, can you tell me, am I still sideways? Because I am not sideways on my screen. Ooh, oh shoot, it's not gonna work. Uh, all right, you guys. Hmm. I think we're just gonna have to be sideways because I am not gonna shut this down and start again. That's such a disaster. I'll try to do my stuff sideways. I will show you. I don't know why that happened. That's just the breaks of live. Facebook Live. It's so weird. Ugh. Okay, so I told you I'd show you these. 
and I gotta wait here a second because I'm delayed a little bit on my screen. I wanna see, are these coming up the right way? How about this? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so here's the first one and here's the second one. And I might have to stand up and stamp tonight because I can't get like both of these. I don't have a big screen when I'm sideways. Did you hit your rotate selection on your phone? Oh, where is that? Where is rotate selection on my phone? Yeah, I know I'm zoomed in too close. Hang on. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just have to raise up my platform here. Okay, well, it is what it is. I'm sorry. We don't, I don't know how to make it I don't know how I did it. I don't know how to make it the right way. Let's see, let's do this. Um, nope. What does that say? Guest request. Nope, that's not right. I thought that that would help, but it didn't. Okay, I'm gonna plug my phone in. We're gonna roll. Can't mess around with this all day. I don't know what happened. Okay, here we go. So here are the new stamp set that's a promotion for august you can get this in your starter kit if you want to buy the discount shopper kit business kit is this upside down now what the heck oh my lord okay so here's what kelly said just turn your phone down from the top. Oh, hang on. I'm going to try this. Close your eyes. Nope. When I pull down from the top, it gives me my menu of stuff that's going on. Okay, we're going to do it this way. Thanks, you guys. Whoops. Oh, did it just rotate? Are you serious? Oh my lord. Okay, Nancy, how do you get the discount shopper kit? You go to my blog, www.estampabove.com, and in the right hand column, down a little ways, it says $99 kit. Click on that, and there's links in there that'll take you. Or right at the top of my blog, it says join my team, and that will take you right there. Okay, so I think this is working now. I'm I have my phone in a different, um, it's now portrait instead of landscape, so that's weird, and this is going to be challenging. But anyways, so here's the stamp set if you missed it. Here are the beautiful colored pencils, and here are those gorgeous framelits. So yay, that, this is a promotion for August. You can get this with your discount shopper kit. And then, of course, we have our other watercolor pencils, too. So these will just complement them nicely. I'm not sure if these watercolor pencils will be available after the promotion. Um, does anybody know the answer to that question? Because I do not. All right. Now, I said I was going to show you cards that I got for my birthday. And here we go. This one is from our list. And this was actually a thank you card. Thank you, Arliss. This is so, so cute. Very pretty. And then this is another birthday card. And this one was from Bernie Seidel. Thank you, Bernie. Bernie's from Nilsville, and so is Arliss. And then we've got Sue Molden. She is one of my very, very longtime customer friends. And it says, they say if someone forgets your birthday, you don't get any older that year. And she says, could I offer a better gift? <laughs> you sure can't. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? This one is from Sheila Edwards. And how pretty is that? She's using the Share What You Love Designer Series paper. That was really pretty. And then I have this beautiful card. And this is from Cindy Russell from Maryland. Thank you so much. And um, she is sending me a thank you card for some paper that I sent her. And then I've got Marie Brubaker from Michigan. Isn't this pretty? I Oh, this is 
look at how she did that ribbon. I think that's just really clever. This is that velvet ribbon that's so pretty. Now watch this. <gasps> look at that! Gorgeous! Very, very pretty. Thank you so much, Marie. That was just the sweetest. Then, um, oh, this is from my sister-in-law, Pam. She lives out in San Diego, and this was a really cute card, too, isn't it? It's your big day. Yeah, and she said here, uh, to the most card-worthy person in my life. <laughs> she knows I appreciate a handmade card, right? And then we've got a card from Sarah Simon. This uses that new subtle embossing folder. I hope you can see that. It makes your paper look like linen paper. It's beautiful. And again, with the abstract impression stamp set, I have an online class on my blog for this also. And she decorated up the inside. So cute. And this one is from my good friend Denise. Isn't that pretty? I love, love, love this flower set. And Beth Lati sent me this beautiful butterfly. This paper is really pretty, too. And then we've got Beverly McGuire. Isn't this pretty? I just like the blue lines are just really striking. Very, very cool. And the last one here is from Barbara Pike. And how pretty is this? This is a really simple card, but it's just, um, I think it's stunning. Very, very pretty. And she put her name on a post-it note so I can reuse the card. So that's really cool. Thank you guys so much. I can't even tell you how wonderful it is to feel the love like that on your birthday. Um, it's pretty amazing. A pretty, pretty good feeling. Okay. I may need to zoom out a little bit. Well, I was standing up, Deb, because um, I've got my phone a different way. Yeah, I think I'm, uh, I'm not zoomed in, so I can't zoom out. Let me see. Close your eyes. I'm going to try and put my stand maybe a little higher. I don't know how high it goes. Yeah, that's it. Because my phone is in portrait mode instead of landscape. Yeah, I don't have a lot of room to work, do I? Well, we'll make it work. Let me plug my phone in and get the cord out of the way. There we go. I think that's good. All right, you guys, we're just going to have to make do. I've got some super, super fun cards for you. I was actually making one right up until about 15 minutes before we went live. So let's see. What am I going to do first? I think I'll do this one first because this is super cute. This uses the abstract impressions. And, okay. All right, so I'm looking okay here. Abstract impressions embossing full, or I'm sorry, <laughs> abstract impressions. Varied bases. I'm trying to do things and talk at the same time, which is tricky, right? And I'm going to use this beautiful tropical escape paper. This is all just so tropically, isn't it? It just screams summer to me, but there's still some patterns in here, like these two, that have nothing to do with summer. And I have to tell you, I have a super duper cute card coming out for my, wait, what? Wednesday tip video using a piece of this paper, because what does that remind you of? Hmm. Not going to say till Wednesday, but you're going to love it. Make sure you check my blog. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, head over to YouTube and do a search for Kelly Atchison. Here's my name right here. And um, hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss anything I have coming out. It's just the easiest way to get notifications for sure. Okay, we have the very bases and the base builder punch. And then I've got three colors of ink here. I'm using Granny Apple Green, which I'm really starting to love a lot. Blushing Bride and Shaded Spruce. And then I've got my stamps here. And my layers of cardstock. Now remember, you will find all of these projects on my blog on Tuesday. Gives me a little bit of time to um, um, do my photography and get everything posted on my blog. 
So I've got a scrap of Whisper White here. And how are you guys doing? Can you see me good? Yeah, that looks okay, doesn't it? Okay. Patricia, I love this stamp set. I've had so much fun with it. I've got a piece of our Whisper White Thick cardstock, and I've scored it. It's four and a quarter by 11, and I've scored it at five and a half. Then I've got a piece of one and a quarter by, well, this is six, but we're gonna cut it down to five and a half of the Tropical Escape Designer Series paper. This is also on the buy three, get one free. So, oh, and then this piece is three, let me look, I've got a cheat sheet here someplace that I was gonna print out and I forgot, so hang tight. Just has my measurements on it so I know what the heck I'm doing and I'm gonna print that right now because I can. <laughs> okay, so this piece is three and a quarter by five and a half. Let me go back to our Facebook Live here. Okay, there we go. Um, let me grab that, hang tight. I forgot to, oh, I did print it. I just didn't take it off the printer. That's genius, Kelly. So before we get started, I'm hot, I need a drink. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have iced tea. Oh, and it's good and it's cold. This is tilted okay. Let me move this just a little bit here. There we go. My voice is a little faded. Well, I am talking loud, so I'm not sure what's going on there. All right, for our card. Oh, I've got rhinestones too, because, well, why not? <laughs> we are going to use the shaded spruce, and I'm going to ink up this super, super cute little vase here. Oh, let me push this up a little bit. Looks like I am. How's that doing? Yeah, it's funny in this, um, what I see on my screen on my phone and what's on the screen on my computer are two very different things. Okay, so I'm going to look at this punch because I need to know where do I need to stamp this to punch it out. And I need to stamp it right at the top. And I use the shaded spruce. So this is just the cutest little vase. I love it. And I'm going to punch that out. Let me get rid of my trash here. And then... I am going to do a little bit of stamping. So I've also stamped this um, base on a just a piece of um, printer paper. And I'm going to put this right on my card where I want my base to go. And I need to stamp some stems because we punched it out. We don't really have a base right there. You could stamp right on your page, on your layer too. That would be fine. So here comes my first little stem. And I'm using the granny apple green for this. I'm not inking it up all the way either because I don't need my stems to be all that long. Whoops, I better move that over. You know what, we're gonna start over because I did my, um, it's hard to have my head way back here and not stick my head in the camera. <laughs> yeah, those of you that do videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I do that a lot on my YouTube videos, but I edit that part out so that you don't have to see my head. <laughs> and sometimes I leave it in. Depends on how much time I have. Okay, so there's our stems. And then I'm gonna use the Blushing Bride. And these, these I think this is my favorite little flower in there. I'm inking that little background. This is the bold image. And I'm gonna stamp off once, and then I'm going to stick my head in the camera so you guys can see my crown. <laughs> And you'll notice that you can barely even see the image because it's so pale. Don't worry about that because you will see it once I put the outline on it. There we go. Okay, so I did pretty good. Then I'm going to take the outline image and I'm going to stamp that full strength. And this is where my head is really coming in to the picture. There we go. Isn't that sweet? Okay. Now I'm going to add my base to some dimensionals, or add some dimensionals to my base. Oops, here we go. And I'm just gonna set that aside for a minute. 
we're going to do some more of these cutie patootie little flowers on our background here. So put one like maybe, oops, shoot. Did you see what I just did? Yeah. Oh, darn it. Okay, hang tight. I need to fix this. Let's just put one more stem right there. Let's see what happens. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> and that's the animal. Oh, oh, I did it again. Well, we're going to do all of them full strength. You'll get the idea. Then I'll show you the one that I did that's not all goofed up. Oh, I did that good. And that one's pretty good. And that one's not. That's okay. You know what? No, it's not okay. That is not okay in anybody's book. So, hang tight. I'm going to get out another piece and we're going to try this again. And I'm going to cut this piece correctly, unlike the last one that I just did. <laughs> we're on a roll. We're on a roll. Here we go. Here's my, okay, so I'm going to do the flowers up here first. Boom. 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 And comes our little vase again so you guys are gonna know exactly how to do this <laughs> whoops I need my stems gosh I had a really good day too you know sometimes you have days where everything just goes wrong this was not one of them I had a very good day so things are gonna go good from here on out right okay stamp off boom stamp off stamp off. There we go. Okay. Whew. Now let's see if we can get these flowers lined up good. Oh, well, that looks pretty good. That one looks good. That one looks good. See, everything's going better now. I shouldn't say that. I'll jinx myself, right? Speaking of jinxing, um, I went and got Chinese, oops, I forgot one flower. I went and got Chinese yesterday. My husband was out of town overnight for a golf dealy. And um, I went and got Chinese yesterday. And uh, my fortune cookie said that I'm going to be coming into a windfall. And I'm like, oh my gosh, should I go buy a lottery ticket right now? <laughs> that was like the first thing that popped into my head. I need to go buy a lottery ticket. But I don't buy lottery tickets as a rule. And now I'm just doing Granny Apple Green leaves here. This is all part of that stamp set. So I didn't buy a lottery ticket. So I'm still waiting for my windfall. <laughs> okay, here comes our vase. And I'm not paying attention to questions again. So if you guys answer me questions. Okay. Oh, you're not the only person that messes up. That's right. Cover up your host code and they can see you stamp. Is that better? Yep, okay, sorry you guys, this is such a weird angle for me. All right, next I'm gonna put dimensionals on this panel. Now this is called a raised panel card. And here comes our card base. There we go. I thought I took, I'm like, did I take those backings off? Nope, I did not. And this is the part where I wish I could speed it up. That's what I do on some of my videos when there's stuff that's kind of just putsy. I will select it and speed it up so you don't have to sit there and watch me peel off backing. You know, it's kind of just boring. But I guess I can just chatter, right? Okay, we're ready to put this on. Before we do that, we are going to find our glue and... <laughs> Shelly, I'm winging it well. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't get too excited anymore because, you know, you just have to realize that there's nothing you can do about the things that go wrong with this particular broadcast. 
because it is what it is. You don't get any second chances. There's no editing. You just got to do what you got to do, right? And it used to really um, frazzle me, but now it's like, nah. You guys realize that we're all human. And I think a lot of you can um, certainly have maybe a little bit of sympathy for <laughs> the fact that everything's live and oh my gosh, so many things can go wrong. Okay, so now we've raised this up. I'm going to, I like to stand my card up so that I get everything even here. Look at that, how cute is that? Now, this is a little less than I'd like it to be. So I took the thank you thinlet, which is someplace where I don't know. Did I get it out here? I thought I did. Well, anyways, there's a thinlet that cuts this. I may have shown it to you before. I've already put little strips of dimensionals on it. And these, this is the edges from the mini dimensionals, and I really love this because they're longer, they're, it's wider, and you can cut, just see how I cut just little slits here? That's what I did and put those on the back of my thank you. So I'm just going to peel that off, and it makes it just the perfect size to put these on the backs of your letters. Thank you, Julie. Hi, Debbie. Yeah, Brenda, we are all human, right? Some of us a little more than others. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ugh. Hang on. Struggling. I'm just going to set this right down in here. Ta-da! Okay, last but not least, I have some rhinestones because why not? I'm just going to add some cute little rhinestones here. And maybe, whoops, <laughs> I'll put one on my finger. I had a rhinestone on my shirt the other day. That was kind of cute. Look how I'm covered with bling. And remember, always odd numbers, that balances things out. And I'll just put this one like maybe right there. There is our cute little thank you card. What do you guys think? Am I still in my frame? I hope so. Yeah, this is a little tricky tonight. Last week I had the mirroring that I did on my phone that was kind of throwing me off. So it's always something, right? Okay, let's get this put away. So again, this is called the panel card. I guess I should explain it a little bit because this panel sticks up right here and it just gives it kind of a really neat look. I love that. And of course the paper is so pretty. All right, here comes the next one. Don't forget, this is the stamp set that I have an online class right now. If anybody's interested in that, you can find it on my blog. Put this away and this away. I'm so proud of myself because after my um, Facebook Live, or after my Facebook, after my card buffet, I got everything put away yesterday, and I usually don't do that for a while, and then things are a disaster. Of course, you can probably relate to that, right? Maybe. I don't know. Probably a lot of you are really organized, and that's not how I roll. Huh. Okay, what are we going to do next here? Um, okay, I'm going to do this. I've got a fun, fun, fun technique. So, let me get my bin in here. Let me get this one out of the way. We are going to use the pop of petals and the flower punch that matches it, which I don't know the name of because, you know, it's new. All kinds of fun little blingy things here. And here comes our stamp set. Oh, and then I'll show you where I got this idea from, too. So, I have a couple cards to show you. Okay. Um, here's the pop of petals, here's that. I can see where I need to be here with my frame. Okay, thank you guys. Thanks, Jody. thanks. Thanks, Karen. I am coming in with Lemon Lime Twist and some Whisper White. Hang on, I'm gonna get my cards set up so I know what I'm doing. So I've got Lemon Lime Twist. This is standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half. Oops. 
There we go. And then I've got four by five and a quarter is my Whisper White layer. I've got another scrap of Whisper White. I've got a piece of the um, Animal Expedition, believe it or not. This is Animal Expedition Designer Series paper. This is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And yeah, all these patterns that are on the back of this fun little animal paper can be used for so many more things than animal cards, right? That's what I like about our designer series paper is the double-sided options. Oh, and I'm missing a piece here. Um, this very burst piece is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then there should be a white square here someplace that is not. So let me grab one. And if anybody's in here that's on my stamp club um, that I'm coming to do tomorrow night, this is one of the cards that you're gonna to get to make, so that's exciting. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is take that white layer and the lemon lime twist. And again, I'm using this pop of petals stamp set. So you've got all these flowers. You've got a little trio set of flowers here, some little leafy things, and a butterfly. This is super cute. Here comes the leafy thing. I shouldn't call it a leafy thing, it's a leaf not a thing. I'm just going to stamp it right there. Then I'm going to take my scrap and I fussed around with this to figure out which way I need to have my stamp pointing to be able to put it in the punch and punch it out properly. You guys know what I mean by that? So I'm going to take my very first and I've got an arrow. I, I drew an arrow on the back of my stamp with a pen. And so every time I'm going to punch it, or punch it, I'm going to stamp it like this so that when I bring my punch in, it's going to be the right way so I don't have to sit there and go like this. You know what I mean? That makes me crazy, crazier than I already am. Okay, so let me see if I can get this lined up. There's one flower. And when I first saw this flower set, I'm like, eh, I don't know what I think about that flower. Like, kind of weird looking. Well, that's because you stack it. And then it looks super cute. So I've got um, a dimensional here. And I'm just gonna throw that right on top here. And then I'm gonna put this one right over top of it. And look how pretty that is. Isn't that unique? It's a very different. Then I've got some of our glitter enamel dots. Now these come in the purple, um, pink, green, and coastal cabana. And I don't know what the gorgeous gray, mm, lovely lipstick maybe, granny apple green and coastal cabana. I don't know what colors these are, but I use them for all different kinds of things. Like it doesn't have to be melon mambo or lovely lipstick. You can use it for both. I'm gonna take one of these little circles and I'm gonna put it right in the middle of my flower. And isn't that cute? It just gives you that extra little bling. And is my camera... Okay, good, I just stood up to make sure that my camera is um, focusing. It looks kind of fuzzy on my screen. And maybe our streaming is not working as good as it should. And it's not my fault. It's the internet. I upgraded my internet service. I'm paying $20 more a month for much higher speed. So I've done what I can do. Okay, here's our card base. We're going to just take this, the front, and fold it back. So this is another fun fold with a technique. Holy cow. You're getting your money's worth tonight. <laughs> That's funny, right? Because you're not paying me. <laughs> so yeah giving you your money's worth tonight. This is gonna be fun. Oh, I got something on there, but it won't matter because we're gonna cover that up with this white layer that we stamped that leaf on. Just like this. Okay, so I'm gonna get that centered. And I'm just gonna add this flower now with blue because we already put dimensionals in between it. And I'm just gonna add that right there. Isn't it cute? Love it. Okay, hang on, I gotta take a drink. My throat's getting really dry. All right, then I'm gonna take this piece of designer series paper 
and I have one of my customers who will not buy designer series paper from us because she hates that it's double sided because she does not think she should have to choose. <laughs> I think that's kind of cute, but I love the option of choosing. I think the option of choosing outweighs the option to not choose, right? Okay, so here comes our cool technique. I am also using the Thankful Thoughts, and the reason why I picked the stamp set is because it's got a bold greeting in it, and you really need a bold greeting for this particular um, technique. I am going to ink my thanks, thank you so much, up in the Lemon Lime Twist, and then I'm going to bring in this leaf which is this one right here. It's um, intricate, right? It's not a bold image. And I am going to kiss the inked up stamp. And wait till you see what this looks like. Now, I'm stamping it off so in case there's any, any um, green on here from when I stamp it that I'm not getting it in my ink pad. Whoops, <laughs> got confused. I'm not getting that green in my ink pad, so I just stamp it off here. And I'm gonna huff on this, like you're cleaning your glasses. And stamp that right on our layer. <gasps> Look at how cool that looks. That is called a kissing technique, where you ink up one stamp and then bring another stamp in with a different color of ink and stamp on it. Super cool, right? This is an old, old one, old technique. And now I'm just going to put this on the very first layer, and then you're gonna add some adhesive to the one side, and then I like to close my card and add this right to the middle. Super easy card, fun technique, fun new flower punch. I am so glad that I bought this bundle because like I said, I was like, yeah, I don't know what I think of those flowers, but you've got so many different patterns and options here. I chose this one with the little like strawberry lines. You know how strawberries have little seeds on them? That's what it reminds me of. I chose this one because my paper also has a bunch of little lines in it. And I thought, oh, that should be coordinating. And I think I did okay, right? What do you guys think? Oh, the four petal flower punch. Thank you, that's what this is called. The four petal flower punch. All right, on to our next card. Let me get this stuff put away. Now the next one, I think, I just made the next one um, this morning. And I have to say that I'm super duper excited to show it to you because it's, it's really cute. And my friend and downline Kathy Miller sent me, oh, hang on. This is where I got the idea for this card. So this was a swap card that I got and it uses the varied bases. And this is from my friend, Candy Michaels. And um, I, I thought, how did, what is that? Did she use a baby wipe? And then when I looked closer, I could see that these were little flowers, not a baby wipe technique. And I'm like, oh, she did a kissing technique. Well, how fun would that be with this? So that's where I got that from. Oh my gosh, I have 214 people watching me. Thank you guys so much. I can't even tell you how that makes me feel. I am truly very blessed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's exciting. Okay, so next. This is a super duper duper fun little part. Oh, let me put the stamp set away too. I gotta keep me, keep me. I gotta keep some room here. So now I'm gonna use the friendly conversation stamp set. I just got this one in the mail and I love big greetings. Like you're going to see a lot more coming to you from me using this. Look at how big that greeting is. It's just cool. And um, so I did the kissing technique with this one, but I did a whole new fun fold. So let me see if I can get out my pieces of paper here. Here is a scrap of Whisper White. 
and that's my sample I'm going to show you that didn't turn out so good. <laughs> Here is um, basic black. This is four and a quarter by five. And then I've got some of that um, designer series paper that is called, what? Um, I don't even know where it went. Tropical Escape. Again, oh, here it is. Set it down right over here. Tropical Escape. This is part of the buy three, get one free. And then I've got um, another piece, a different pattern of the Tropical Escape. This one is four by five and a quarter. This one is, da, 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 da. hang on, three and seven eighths by two and three eighths. I have one of our stitched shapes oval. This is the biggest oval in the pack, I believe. Then I've got a piece of um, Blushing Bride. This is, let me think about this. This is going to be four by two and three quarters, I think. Is that right? Hang on. I didn't write that one down. Let me measure it. So I know it's four this way. Two and a half. Sorry. Glad I measured. Don't want to throw you guys off. And again, all of these dimensions are going to be on my um, blog on Tuesday. Then I've got a piece of basic black that's two and three quarters by eight and a half. I'm going to bring my paper cutter in and I'm going to score this at four and a quarter. And I actually pull it down to just a smidge less than four and a quarter. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. You'll get some better results out of this. Okay. Then I've got a little scrap of um, this designer series paper here and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a minute. All right, let's stamp up what we need to stamp up here. Oh, you know what? I should have stamped that first and then die cut it. We'll see how I can do. We'll see if I'm good enough to make that happen. I need to grab my ink pad and then this one is granny apple green, which I also used here. Okay. So, make sure this is right side up. Here comes my blushing bride. And again, I'm using the kissing technique. Does anybody have any questions? I am not following along questions, and I'm so sorry. But, um, yeah, it's hard to do that. Okay, and then granny apple green. And here comes that little flower that comes from the very basis stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp right on my Blushing Bride ink. Now, I'm only gonna do this a couple times and I'm gonna show you why in just a second. So I did it once here and once here. Now I'm gonna hop on this to moisten it and stamp it on my oval and we'll see how well I can do. We might be die cutting a new oval. It turned out great. Look at that. Sometimes I amaze myself. <laughs> okay, and isn't that pretty? Now let me show you why I only stamped twice with this green. This was stamping a bunch of times, so I kind of covered all the letters, and I just don't think that's as attractive as this one. What do you guys think? And Suzette's never seen the kissing technique. Oh, I love it when you guys haven't seen something. If I can bring all that joy into your life. That's fabulous. So I didn't need this scrap because I already have this here. Then, um, let's see. Let's get this put together now. You're going you're gonna to just absolutely think this is the bomb. I've got another card to show you with the same layout, too. And then I've got another one coming Wednesday in my Wait What? tip video that's on YouTube and it'll be on my blog too and I post it to this page so you guys will surely get to see it but um, I'm making another one of these this is called a barn door card I'm gonna be making another one of these but I'm using a really cool little idea that I came up with hang on my glue doesn't want to come out and then I just got glue all over my fingers I guess I pushed it off there we go 
and we're going to adhere this to that blushing bride layer. I really do like these colors together. I think they're pretty neat. Now this is that piece that we scored in the middle. I'm going to fold that over, hit it with my, make sure that your score line is straight because I see mine's a little crooked here. So I'm just going to kind of force it a little bit. And now if you look at this, one of these is a little bit longer than the other one. That's because I backed it off on that four and a quarter just a little bit. I made it a little tiny bit less than four and a quarter. That longer piece is going to be the one that's going to go on the front of your card because that's going to come all the way over to the edge. The back, it's not going to come all the way over to the edge. Who cares? Nobody cares. Who cares about the back? Well, it needs to look decent, but I need to get on a new bottle of glue, I think. So again, I'm going to stand this up. Get that ink pad out of there, right? Well, at least we're using black cardstock. Standing that up so I can add that to the bottom. Sarah, well, Sarah, if watching me want, makes you want everything, you should really order. Did you just order the starter, the discount shopper kit, the starter kit? I know you asked me some questions about it. You can get $125 of whatever you want plus 10 free ink pads. When you want it all, you need to be a discount shopper. I know because that's why I became a demonstrator is because I also wanted it all. All right, now I've got a nifty little technique for you. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of different examples. So I've got lovely lipstick here. This is one of the brand new Stampin' Blend colors and I just got it. Oh, I love these things. They are so fun to color with. And this is our polka dot tool ribbon. And I believe this comes in white and vanilla. I'm using white here. It's super duper cute, but it's also fun to make it any color you want. Now, let me tell you a couple things. I made, um, I tried to make black polka dot with this. I pulled it through my memento ink pad, sponged it up, turned it black. It did not dry. Like I left it for an hour and came back and when I went like this, I got black ink. You can still see some of it. I had to, actually you guys, I had to wash the dishes to get all the black off my fingers. And my, my husband thought that was pretty funny because he usually washes dishes. So I had to go wash the dishes just to get the black off my fingers. So black ink did not work. It, for some reason, it just wouldn't dry. So then I thought I'd use one of our black stamp and write markers. That does not dry either. I came back a while later and it was still just sopping wet. I got black all over myself. That was, then I did the dishes. So I got black on first, then I did the dishes. So then I came up with our alcohol markers, the stamp and blends. And of course these are gonna dry because they're alcohol based. And now you can make this any color you want. And if you're just gonna put it on the front of your card, you only need to do one side. If you're gonna tie a bow, you're gonna to wanna to do both sides, just that simple. Isn't that cute? How cute is that? And I do have some liquid here, um, some color on my fingers, but this does dry, I promise you, because I tested it out. All right, so I decided that I wanted some of this. Oh, remember, when you're using these markers, you're gonna make sure you hear that click when you put the lid on. These must be closed at all times when you're not using them. They're alcohol, alcohol dries out really fast and um, they'll dry out and then they won't work anymore. All right, so I we don't have um, a marker that is blushing bright. So I got out the light Calypso Coral and I thought, well, that's kind of pretty pinky. Now Calypso Coral is is orange. This will look orange when you use it with the dark clips of coral. But I thought we should try that and see how that's gonna look on this polka dotted tool and if that will match my card. So that's what I did. And I colored my polka dots and I colored the front and the back. And then I took it and put it up against my card stock here and yep, it matches. Look at how good that matches. So. Through the magic of TV, I have a big piece here that I did, so you don't have to sit and watch me do that. And I am going to put it around this little layer before I finish my card. 
and I'm just gonna tie this in a knot, which of course, you know, makes your faux bow, which is pretty sweet. So it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna make a liar out of myself. Oh, jeepers. Here we go. There we go. How cute is that? Just a, that little extra bit of bling that I wanted on my card. Now let me get my big scissors so I can trim this down. My gosh, my stomach is growling. I need to eat something. I told my husband that he was going to take me for an early, a late lunch, early dinner, someplace tonight, this afternoon, and we were going to go there on the bike. And guess what? <gasps> Grandkids came over and that was more important, right? <laughs> I mean, seriously, it was just more important. So we did not go eat anything. He just ate a little while ago, but I was busy trying to get ready here. So when I get done here, I'm going to go find something to eat. He didn't cook hardly at all this week. I was a little like, dude, what are you doing? But that is helpful for my diet. And another thing that's helpful for my diet is I just started doing the um, Smile Direct Club. I can't remember if I told you guys this last week. Now, how stinking cute is this, right? Look at that. Barn door fold. Hang tight. We got some more cool stuff that's going to happen before this shindig's over. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the bottom here, and, I, and I'm going to put on three, which seems a little excessive, but I don't want my card to fall apart. So, the Direct Smile Club. Um, I went to Invisalign and got an um, estimate on getting my teeth straightened because my teeth got crooked again. I've had braces twice. Yeah, twice. And the estimate was $6,200. It was ridiculous for Invisalign. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. <gasps> Look at how cute. Now, hang on. I got one more super cool thing to show you. Um, so here's the bunny punch. I have the bunny bundle. And I was just looking at my punches and I needed a little flower. So I thought, well, that's the bunny tail. And it kind of looks like a flower, right? So, oh, hi, Claudia. You're going to have to watch from the beginning because you are um, you missed some pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to use this for a flower. And this little strip is left over from cutting this layer. And I thought, hmm, wonder how that would look if I punched right in the middle of one of these tropical flowers. Are you ready for this? Look how cute that is. I was like, oh, my gosh, that's adorable. So let me get out a mini dimensional here, and I am going to put that on the back of my little flower. Look at how stinking cute that is. <gasps> Look at how cute! I was just like, oh my gosh, that is adorable. And then I'm going to get a rhinestone because, well, why wouldn't you put a rhinestone in here? I'm going to take one of the, one of the little ones that just got stuck to my fingernail. There we go. And put that right in the middle. 258 viewers. Thank you so much. That just made my day. And look at how cute that is. So any type of a little flower punch, or if you don't have one, this bunny builder punch is pretty cool. And I will be using this in the future. So if you're looking for something to order, this might be a great idea. Um, there's a stamp set that goes with it. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Um, oh, I have to show you the other card that I made with this same technique. So hang tight. Okay, so I agree with the second one you just did. Oh, because of you, I laugh a little harder, cry a little less, and smile a little more. Well, Shelby, thank you so much. Because you know what? I am a girl with a glass half full, never half empty. Life is too short. I wish everybody would have a better attitude and be happy because it's short. It's short and I want to be happy and I want to make people around me happy and I don't like drama and I don't like nonsense and the heck with it, right? Cutie patootie, here's the other one. Look at how cute that is. So I use the same paper pack, the tropical, what's it called? Tropical escape, I can never remember. I did the same technique and then I have this little heart on here that I cut out of this 
paper that's in there. Now the cool thing that I, the one thing I did with the paper I put on the backgrounds here is I um, made sure that you could write on it. So this paper, while it has flowers on it, it's very soft and muted and you can write your message here. This is some of the designer paper in the pack, and again, very soft and muted, and I used that to cut out a little heart, and I got that little heart out of the stitched labels framelit. I used this last week, you guys, and it has a big label thing in it that you loved. I've got that in a different bin right now, but that's where I got that little heart, so any little heart will really work. And I used our artisan pearls on here and some of our pink and silver um, baker's twine, that's what I'm trying to say. Exact same card, different papers. How stinking cute is this? Holy cow. Now, let me see, is that what I have for you? I think we're gonna call it a night. I think I made everything. Let's bring back in all the stuff that I made. Don't forget to share my video, you guys, and if you're gonna place an online order, I certainly appreciate them. If you want to sign up under me to get that discount shopper kit, that'll give you a 20% discount on all your purchases at least through the end of December. I would love to have you on my team. I've had a lot of new people coming on board my team. I have some exclusive stuff for them that I don't share with anybody else. So you get as much training as you want. You can do whatever you want with that kit. You can be a discount shopper. You can just order the kit and never do anything again except order from me in the future, like, you know. <laughs> um, if you, uh, one of the other concerns that somebody had was, well, if I order the kit and then I don't order anything else and I go inactive, are you gonna be mad at me? No, you can still keep ordering from me. And some people order the kit and then their next order comes to me because they don't wanna do all that. They don't wanna go to the demonstrator website. They don't wanna do it. The kit's a good deal. So. You can um, join my team. Lots of people coming on board this month in July with the promotion. You get 10 free ink pads. You can um, place an online order. That'll get you a drawing. Make sure you're commenting. If you came in here late, you need to comment so that I know you were here so I can put you in the drawing for fun prizes and share my video. Make sure you use this hostess code right here if you're placing an order under $150. And if you're gonna place an order over $150, buy the discount shopper kit. You shouldn't even be doing it because you get $220 with product. It's a no brainer, I'm not even kidding. All right, you guys, did anybody have any questions? I sure, I really appreciate you um, letting me know how many people are watching because I like to know that number and I oftentimes don't have time to look at it. We got so many things going. Oh, I was gonna finish up with the, um, the teeth thing. So I did this Smile Direct Club, a third of the cost. It was less than a third of the cost of Invisalign. So I got these plates in my mouth that are gonna straighten my teeth. And when my teeth get all straight again, because I got some gaps in there, um, I'll show them to you guys. It's pretty cool, but it makes my mouth really dry. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think that I am looking at the most current comments here. Aw, oh, thanks, Kim. I will have fun on my trip. And thank you for reminding me about that. I will not be live next Sunday, okay? Um, I'm going to be on the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip. And um, I will be live again on July 29th because we come back on Friday the 27th. So I will be live again on the 29th. And um, I want to thank you for your participation tonight. You guys make this so much fun for your comments, your orders, and your support. Anybody else, any questions? I think we are gonna wrap it up. Thank you, thank you so much, Sandy. Thank you, Becky, Tammy. Oh, Tammy, good to see you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I have a lot of fun with these Facebook Lives. They're just a tremendous amount of fun. All right, you guys. I'm going to sign off and go eat something. Oh, by the way, I haven't lost any more weight, but I didn't gain any either. Happy dogs. Woohoo. All right. Have a good night. Bye-bye.